Hello everyone, and welcome back to JD Videos. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you know when we're going to be posting and you can be the first to look at the videos. In today's video, we're going to be having a look at the waypoint missions on the DJI Go 4 app with the Mavic 2 Pro. We're going to show you how to start them, organize them, and run them. Let's get into it. So here you go guys, we are in this current recording now. We're going to get kick started with today's tutorial. Um, so as I said earlier, today's tutorial is going to be the Mavic 2 Pro Intelligent Flight Modes and we're going to kick start with the Waypoint as I did say earlier. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure the switch on the right hand side of the controller is set to P mode, um, position mode, which also activates the Intelligent Flight Modes. Um, and once you've got that selected, you'll see on the left hand side of the screen there'll be a little controller symbol. You press that and that'll bring up the Intelligent Flight Modes. Obviously we are going to go into them in detail, however today we are focusing on the Waypoint. Um, so you want to click on waypoint and then tap on the map or press C1 on the remote controller to add a waypoint. Okay, so it's a tutorial, don't need to do that. Okay, so you can do your thing now, I'm just going to bring that up now, I'll do that later. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to bring put the drone in the air to start with. I always like to Take put off. it in the air. And the first thing I'm also going to do is make sure that my SD card is formatted. So the internal storage is formatted just so I can actually capture some footage. Okay, so we're in the air now. I'm going to take off. The home point has been updated. Obviously Please the check it on the map. The beacon is just the drone telling me there's an obstacle. So we're just going to get it up to about 60 metres just to, you know, get it out of the way of any possible obstacles. And it is now at 60 metres right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is open up the map. And I'm going to select the waypoints. So I'm going to go here. And go this is my first waypoint so you just select there waypoint one height 50 meters um, we're going to make the heights i think i might make the altitude um, so just click on that to click on the altitude swipe up or down to adjust the value so if you just swipe up or down the screen i'm going to make that 60 meters okay speed cruising we're going to make it a bit faster so you just swipe up like you're scrolling up the screen 28 kilometers an hour so that's as fast as it goes that's okay then I'm going to go here, and we're going to go at an altitude of 70 meters. Then we're going to go back, and we're going to go here, and we're going to go at an altitude of 70 meters. And then we're going to come back to just near us. Adjacent waypoints, oh, they've got to be close to each other, so we're going to go back at a height and we're going to go 69 metres, doesn't really matter to be honest. 50 metres is fine there and then that'll come back. So now what we're going to do, obviously the drone is in the air waiting to take command, we're going to click go. Okay, so it's going to tumble this, task check, aircraft battery duration, that's all that. And you press start, so all waypoint direction, return altitude to 100, no RC action, continue task. Okay, so it does actually do a proper waypoint mission. Um, so we're going to go is return to home if it does do that. Task finish, return to home. We're going to go start. It's uploading. Now it's heading off in its mission. We're going to hit record button. And I'm just going to bring up for the 4K footage. Well, the 1080p on here, but it's going to be 4K in real life. Um, so as you can see, I can adjust the gimbal just to see that. Beautiful day today. There is a bit of smoke over there because they are doing some back burning, but um, apart from that, it's crystal clear weather in Sydney. And we're just gonna. Let that glide. And just let that. So it's currently going at 43 kilometers an hour. So I did select 28, but I think one of them I didn't actually select the cruising altitude, so it'll go for the full, full speed. Um, so it's going to hit number one. There you go, it's hit number one. It's going to turn a bit and head off in the next one. I'm going to adjust the camera automatically for you. And then you can obviously readjust it if you want to put it back down, it's up to you. 
Um, but as you can see, we've got no issues with the FPV, but we shouldn't. It's the Mavic 2 Pro. I've had it 4Ks without an issue, so definitely shouldn't be a problem. So now it's going to glide off in that direction. As we go, there we go, we can see. Um, just so, well, while we're doing this, we'll have a quick chat. I'll just let you know. Obviously, hit the like and subscribe button because you're going to see more tutorials. Um, as you can see, the first video I uploaded wasn't the best quality. It was pretty bad, to be honest. Put it to be, to be perfectly honest with everyone. Um, however, I have been getting better. The videos are getting better. They're obviously going to get better and better as I get more experience with the channel. Um, but yeah, hit the like and subscribe button if you do want to see more. Um, obviously, we will be filming... Um, again, we're also going to do a midweek episode on Wednesday at George Kendall Reserve. We're going to do a nighttime flight to show everyone how to get the perfect shots at night because there's a nice little city of called Ride there and the quality of the photos that you get from there are amazing. I've actually got a photo up on Shutterstock, um, but that photo I've got on Shutterstock is not from the Mavic 2 Pro. It's actually from the lower grade drone, it's only from the Phantom 3, so it should be amazing. But yeah, as you can see, look at this. Uh, this quality um so it's continuing the mission it's 1.5 kilometers away it could return home soon because the signal might drop just based on the fact that we are in a suburban area but it should be fine but as i said it will return home if the drone does lose signal which is what i want i don't want it to yeah because that's how i lost my um that's how i lost my mavic pro I'm um, doing the Lucci mission and it didn't return. Okay, so now it's on to level number two. Oh, aircraft disconnected, so that might return home now. No signal. Yep, it's going to return home. No signal. There you go. Alright, so that is showing you how to run the missions. Obviously. Go home. My mission. Oh, I couldn't do it. It's going to raise up to 100 metres now. Oh, look at all the smoke you can see today. Wow. That's incredible. Alright, I'm going to stop the return to home and I'm just going to control it myself. But yeah, we can have a look at, look at that. That's all from the backburning they're doing just to, you know, try and combat the... Hopefully they don't have to go through what they went through last year, but... Yeah, they definitely do a good job, and it's definitely smoky. I didn't even notice how smoky it was until I've got in the air. But there you go, guys. That is how to run the mission. Um, Obviously, if you're in a more open space, it will go longer without cutting out. Um, it only cut out because I'm in amongst a lot of trees. Um, so if anyone has any questions or if they need advice or if anyone has any tips for me, certainly comment on the channel. Um, also, you can message the channel as well. Sorry for the car. Every time I start talking, the car comes fast. Notice how no cars came fast when I was not talking. But yeah, so if anyone needs any, any advice or if they have any advice on me, just let me know. I'm more than happy to help or more than happy to take advice. You know, I'm good at taking advice as well. Um, so yeah, just certainly just chuck it in the comments and also you can email the page at jdvids at gmail.com if you'd like um, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this has been a short episode, but some of them are short episodes, but we are the, um, the nighttime one will probably be a bit of a long one because we're going to film the journey there and the journey back. So it will be probably about a 15 minute episode, but yeah, this one has been a short one. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely weekend. Thank you.